So one of the biggest challenges that we had in addressing the need for a new piano is the size of this room. Christ United's sanctuary seats 2,800 people. And so you need an instrument that can be heard. As a pianist, one of the challenges in playing other pianos is sometimes their response. Some of them are very sluggish in their action and you cannot play fast moving passages. Um, some of them have very shallow um, dynamic contrast. When we went to choose a piano, we knew that we wanted to buy an American piano. When I was younger, um, in my master's, I was introduced to Mason and Hamlin. Not many people have even heard of Mason and Hamlin. And I often joke that of the two American pianos that are made, Mason and Hamlin is more the boutique line. A colleague of mine and I flew to Haverhill, Massachusetts, to the Mason and Hamlin factory. I had no idea that there were so many floors and so many different components and different craftsmen making these pianos from hand. The skill and the technique and the care that they were exhibiting before us just as we were walking through gave us another great assurance that this was a well-made instrument that would serve as this congregation for many years to come. And the experience of walking in and playing a brand new instrument was overwhelming to think that I was one of the first people that got to play this instrument. It was an experience I'll never forget. One of the things that is a little bit terrifying about playing this piano is it's such a well-crafted instrument. Every note is heard. And so it really requires you to be on top of your game. Um, there's no muddy sound within the piano of hiding mistakes because every note speaks evenly. You can play the softest pianissimos and then when you need it to just rattle, the fortissimos are just magnificent. It offers a wide range in both of those areas. Another thing that I really like about the Mason and Hamlin and the reason that I thought it would be the perfect piano for the Deep South is the composite action of Wessel, Nickel, and Gross. Just knowing that composite material is designed for areas of humidity. Anyone who lives in the South knows that wood swells and shrinks. And to remove that as a factor, knowing that you could walk in here on any Sunday morning and have a piano that was ready um, to perform without any issue was a great reassurance. For those who've never experienced a Mason and Hamlin before and are considering buying a piano, I would say before you make that purchase, find one and play it. Um, there's really nothing quite like it on this side of the Atlantic. I mean, if you're gonna buy an American-made piano, in my opinion, Mason & Hamlin is the top of the line. <laughs>